Hello again everyone, this is Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness and today I will be bringing to you the second episode in my Forgotten Fitness tip series. But before that, I just wanted to tell you all that I just celebrated my one year anniversary on YouTube. And I wanted to thank you all so much for all the views and subscribers over this first year. It has been absolutely incredible. Over 100,000 total YouTube views and over 2,000 subscribers. Milestones I never thought I would reach. But back to the video. This episode will be over the legendary dumbbell pullover and how it can be used to help expand the rib cage. When it comes to iconic old school exercises, nothing beats the dumbbell pullover. It has been used regularly in weight training since at least the late 19th century and continues to be relatively popular to this day. This exercise targets the lats, chest, and rib cage, primarily with auxiliary muscles such as the shoulders and triceps acting as stabilizers. Two famous bodybuilders that swore by the dumbbell pullover to help their rib cage were Frank Zane and Bill Pearl. Both of these men attributed their incredible vacuums as well as their rib cage development directly to this single exercise. Additionally, both gentlemen retained the ability to strike an impressive vacuum pose in their late 50s. This is something rarely seen today in people in their early 20s. Of course, you can't talk about this exercise without talking about the Austrian oak. Arnold, unlike the other two gentlemen, used this exercise as more of a power movement, aiming to move the most weight possible and also obtain the greatest stretch at the bottom. In this video, I will be going over how to actually perform this exercise and how it can help you in expanding your rib cage, and I will also be giving you a demonstration. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding this movement at all, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And with all that out of the way, I hope you all enjoy this video. To perform the dumbbell pullover, you want to begin by lying crossways on a flat bench before gripping a moderately heavy dumbbell placed behind you. You want to ensure that only your shoulders and upper back should make contact with the bench. Doing this long ways on a flat bench will restrict the amount of stretch you can get at the bottom. With the dumbbell now above your face, take in a deep breath while slowly lowering it behind your head in an arc-like motion. Bend your elbows at the bottom to help increase the stretch. You'll know what I mean when you actually do this. And it, it does restrict the actual movement in the lateral position across your body, but it helps deepen the stretch at the bottom, in particular for the lats. Simultaneously, you wanna dip your hips to help expand the rib cage. After this, exhale while you begin to bring the dumbbell back up to the starting position. As you can see based on this, breathing is very important. Make sure to also reset your hips as well so that you can drop them on the next rep. To actually perform this exercise in a working exercise program, perform this exercise for three to six sets of between eight to 12 reps. Although of course this is variable. One tip here is that if you really wanna help improve your rib cage and get a wider barrel shaped rib cage, it was always recommended to superset this exercise with some kind of squat variation, in particular the breathing squat or the 20 rep squat. But any squat variation will help because it'll get you to breathe heavier and take in deeper breaths and it'll help in that expansion. As you can see, I am lying crossways on a flat bench. I grabbed this fairly heavy dumbbell behind my head and brought it up to my face. And now I am performing the dumbbell pullover. I am dropping the dumbbell behind my head with my arms slightly bent, while also simultaneously working on my breathing and making sure it's steady and controlled and follows the manner in which I described in the previous slide. And at the same time I'm bringing my arms down, I am also dropping my hips just slightly to help increase the stretch on both my rib cage and my abdominal muscles as well. And it really feels incredible. You don't really feel the stretch while you're doing the exercise, 
but when you stand up, you really feel the burn in between each of the ribs. And it's really amazing. I actually, when I first learned about the Golden Era Bookworm and his YouTube channel, and he talked about this exercise, I first started implementing this in around 2018 or 2019 because of that, and I noticed an immediate difference. It really helped me broaden out my chest. And I've never had the biggest pec muscles, but a lot of these Silver Era bodybuilders didn't either. They would implement an exercise like this to help them expand their ribcage and give them the illusion of a bigger chest. And that's where I think an exercise like this really shines. And like I said in the previous slide, if you want to help encourage the, the production of an effective exercise on your rib cage, perform some kind of squat variation in between each of your sets here, and you will really help expand the rib cage. But that's all I have for you today. If you have any future video ideas, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll make sure to get back to you about that. Or if you have any general questions or comments, do leave them there as well. I try to reply to everybody. But until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness signing out. Bye-bye.